you'll absorb something, and then <laughs> you take in all this other information, and then you just like replace it with something else, and it one in here. Run out the other. Sure. All right, so we are going to get into our very first game now. It's going to be Soul X versus JD. J Dragon. J Dragon. He must be a fan of K pop. One, mm. go. Or uh, I actually don't know if he's a fan of K pop, but there is a, a uh, K pop artist. He's from the group Big Bang. That uh, he's G Dragon. So. It's either that or he's a big fan of the Disney Channel. For sure. I'm wondering <laughs> how many people actually get that <laughs> Jake, reference. Jake the Dragon. Oh yeah. Jake the American Dragon. American Dragon. And we're playing some hardcore neutral right now. Both players at zero percent. Finally, Solex coming in with a dash attack. Oh, we're gonna get a combo started with a down tilt. 32%, doesn't make too much of that out of it, but he's at least forcing the approach from J-Dragon. Yeah, and right now J-Dragon has that, uh, he has that stage establishment looking pretty good. And it's like when you have a sword, <laughs> it makes your stage position that much more deadly, especially against a character that doesn't have any disjoints. But uh, Peach has that counter. That counter is actually ridiculous. I see Peach use her counter way more than a lot of other characters, like even really good Peaches. It's a viable thing to do. Catching the turn up, just nice turn up combo into the forward air from Solex. He's got uh, gotten away with the percent lead a little bit. Gonna drop the turn up down, and that's JD stock. He could have lived. He could have lived, but he got the directional air dodge. Uh, just panicked a little bit, so mm. it's gonna cost him. Yeah, I doubt it. Ooh, I like, I like that spacing, just barely hitting the shield. And that's, that's what I try to do all the time. You basically just want to hit the shield with the max range of your move at all times, get that shield pressure down, and always keep yourself on the stage. Yeah. Always keep your establishment. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, there's two things you can do, right? You can, um, well, there, there might be more than two things, but there's the, the two main things that you can do is that you can, you can, uh, space at max distance on, on their shield, or you can cross up on their shield to where you land behind them. Oh, yeah. Another turn up, uh, yeah. gimping. JD's recovery there. Soul X solidly at 73% on his first life. Yeah, kind of a morality killer, but it's no. looking pretty grim, I have to say. So uh -oh. we've, we've seen comebacks. This is a pretty aggressive and uh, far based on the rushdown type of game. Woo! You know, on paper, I don't really think that this is the best matchup for Peach, so. Oh, it's definitely not. Oh, not quite. That was good. I love the F-Tone right there, cleaning up the stock. Uh, little ray of hope here for J Dragon. Yeah, gotta pretend that every hit can kill you. Oh, even yeah. at the third stock, every hit can kill me. You know? I mean, the, the, the key factor to making a three stock comeback like this is to optimize your play to the point where like, okay, I'm not getting hit, but I'm getting little hits. So you, you don't want a ton of vision in on the kill per se, but just focus on getting individual hits. When you can get those individual hits, the kill will come to you. Oh yeah, just play solid. Oh, oh my god, all right. Solid, that hit. Six, six set up there from Soul X, using the Peach Bomber to uh, force a reaction. He was either gonna get the hit with the Peach Bomber, uh, J Dragon tossing up his shield, and he got the bounce back into the forward air. Uh, definitely not guaranteed, but it was a, a really good mix up and J Dragon was not ready for it. Yeah, it's a good setup. Uh, all things considered, I have faith in the Dragon. I truly do. Um, I mean, yeah, he's playing the Young Link now. I, I actually, I still had faith in the Marth. Uh, I think there were just some kind of uh, for sure. kooky recoveries, but hey, we're moving on to the Young Link. Yeah, and I, mean, I like this character a lot. And it was just a matter of him like pressing his advantage, which he's gonna have to do regardless of the character. So uh, if he's playing Young Link, he's definitely probably feels that he has better combos and better follow-up. So. Let's see if that's the case. And better rage, too. Like, much greater ability to annoy. Yeah, I mean, range, uh, definitely, like, he has he has uh, range with the use of his projectiles. He's got the uh, boomerang, he's got the arrows, which are incredibly lagless, and the bomb, of course. Oh, don't understate those arrows. Those arrows are insane. Like, the second that you get hit by one arrow, you can get hit by, like, four more in succession. And then you'll die. For you'll sure. get up easy. I mean, as I said, they have very little lag, so you can definitely combo. Uh, they combo into each other, and they combo into the up B, as you just said. JD doing much better this time around, just uh, making use of his projectile, so... Ooh, that was good. I like that damage. So in that, in that sense, I, I'm really liking the character switch from J-Dragon. The fact that he recognized he wasn't really strong in the close quarter combat department, so he's like, okay, I can't get my hits in when I'm boxing you. Let me just get this damage from far away. But now the trick is, how is he gonna get these kills? He's looking for a down air. That's definitely gonna kill at this percent, but it's such a hard move to land. Mm. I'm curious if uh, 
Soul X is aware of like the bomb placement. Oh, that, he's ooh, gone. Oh, yeah. Yup. Still, though, you know, I, I would imagine that J-Dragon is a lot more uh, comfortable with recovering with this character, too. I, I, in my opinion, that this character has a little bit better of a recovery. Maybe. Maybe, because I, I, I feel like uh, vertical distance-wise, they go about the same. Um, but the bombs can definitely help you out in certain situations where you don't have your jump anymore. Oh, man. You know, it's funny, because there's another one. Yep. Yep. It, ooh, look for a border. Oh, that Toad. Okay. Oh! Bouncing off Toad? No way, man. And J and uh, Soul X living just a little bit longer because of uh, Kalos having such a high ceiling as well. 206% yeah. on that this beast. What a monster. Oh, God. Not oh, quite. my God. Well, he's getting away with murder right now. He really is. Yeah, J Dragon's like, oh, I got this kill in the bag. I got this kill in the. Oh, oh, a stitch. Oh, I just got hit in the face with a stitch. Yeah. This, I, is, this is so hard. I mean, J Dragon is, is struggling. He's really applying so much pressure with these projectiles, but none of, none of these projectiles are going to kill. Like, he, he's got to find a kill. Oh, he's got a down tilt, catching a two frame at the ledge. Mm. Always going for the, the down tilts. Like it's like I I get it. You can shield poke with it, and that's great. But it's not really. We see it. You know, it's not really much of a mix-up at this point. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-two, and this Peach is still living. Solex getting so much stock mileage on this life. Ooh. Oh God, this should do that it. Should do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what position on the stage you are, dude. He was off stage on the complete opposite end, and it killed off the top and the side on the. Uh, the uh, left side. Yeah, I don't care who you are. That should have rocked you, regardless of who you were playing. Okay, and this is the place where you need to play as safe as possible. That's not safe. It ain't safe. Oh, okay. Not really much of a punish. I mean, Solex uh, is smart for doing that because there is very little lag. I mean, we saw the shield come up immediately. The bomb in hand. Is he going to make it back? He is. Aww. Oh, okay. He directional air dodge. JD in those directional air dodge. you got to be careful. I feel like a, a beat. What do you think? I think that would have made it if he did not beat. If he up beat, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure he would have made it. Yeah. Oh, well, it happens. We still got another stock. Okay, that was smart. I like that. I like that. Not even challenging the each other. And the boomerang is barely safe, like on shield. It's pretty good. I mean, at max distance, I don't, I don't know the exact like safeness of it or what like kind of frame advantage it has. But for the most part, you're throwing out that boomerang at a far distance, and it's like doesn't have much lag. You can combo into it, and you can also combo. But a lot of the time, it's it's a distraction. Right? You're using it to. Uh, oh, oh my God, bro. Oh yeah. Nasty, nasty edge guard with the peach bomber right there, and Solex 